All right, so we're here at Donington Park for the final round of the Porsche Boxster Cup. Uh, we're with our race drive Porsche Boxster and Shiraz Khan. Today I'm going to be getting stuck into uh, coaching with Shiraz, understanding the car, understanding the circuit. It's our final round, so we're going to be pushing for a win, qualifying and the races tomorrow. So today is just going to be understanding how far we can go, seeing what we can uh, extract from ourselves in the car, and tomorrow we'll go for it. So we've had a really good couple of sessions uh, with Shiraz already today at practice at Donington Park. Getting into the understanding of the track, it has been wet, so just understanding uh, the car in the wet. This afternoon we're going to get stuck into uh, more of his driving versus my driving. Um, we're going to work on the braking technique, getting some better exits and just putting ourselves in the frame uh, for qualifying tomorrow to make sure we're uh, as best prepared as we can be. Third turn, wait for the car to turn a bit longer so you're here, rotated to, to that yeah. point, because otherwise your and line would take wide. you out exactly and then you'll get sort of taken out. Whereas if you can have that little bit more rotation done, it'll be good. All right, so we're on our final session uh, here at Donington Park, practice day. It's pretty tricky because it's dry now. This morning was wet, so it was good. Shiraz was good in the wet this morning. Struggled a little bit this afternoon with confidence in the dry, just, know it, just kind of knowing what to do. So I've just set him some reference laps in the, uh, in the Boxster. And, uh, and he's got that to look at now. He's out there driving right now. So he's got my reference lap. Uh, we're going to go through the data and the video right after the session and then that'll be it uh, for tomorrow so pretty tricky but my job is going to be balancing how far we need to find or how much time we need to find him versus me uh, versus confidence you know it's, it's important not to overdo it with confidence killers and um, trying to trying to take too much out so we're going to really look to do small snippets this evening and, and into tomorrow and then we've got practice and qualifying tomorrow so we'll uh, we'll see how we get on but we'll keep pushing I've done 19, you've done a 23 at the moment, yeah. but you went from 26s, 25s, 24s, 23s, so every lap, your fastest lap was one of your last, so let's just keep, you should have a five or six minutes, we'll give you another five or six laps. What you need to try and work on is better mid to exits. So where your time is, you're just overrunning sometimes slightly too much. Into so, the corners. Into the corners. So let's try and get the thing turned as smoothly and get on the power, because all your time loss throughout the lap, within reason, is mid to exit. That makes sense? Yeah. So let's, you're doing a good job, like you made mass improvements. Let's try and get that mid turn and then. So you want me to be turned in sooner and on the power earlier? That's what you want, right? I just don't want you to overrun through the corners. Okay. All right, so we're here at uh, wet Donington Park, Saturday morning. Uh, Shiraz is out in the race drive boxer, so. Um, he, this morning was about getting him comfortable and confident with what to do in the wet. His first real experience today in the wet, uh, wet running on a track. So um, it's going to be pretty tricky, but uh, the weather looks like it's going to dry up as the day goes on. So um, we just practice this morning, straight into qualifying afterwards. So we'll see how we go. My job is going to be trying and get him confident in between the two sessions. And uh, hopefully he can learn a lot between the two and really kick on for qualifying. Thirty-five six. You did last lap quickest. Yeah, yeah. Thirty, and it's so close, right? So you were doing forty threes before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's good, mate. It's really good. From forty threes to to thirty fives in in the stop and go, right? So you came in. And if I didn't have that, I would have carried on doing doing forty twos. Yeah, because you were sort of chipping away by like half a second a second, but you were eight seconds off Colin. So I knew there was a big chunk you could find. Obviously, you went out, looked at his video, and went straight out, and you've you've done it. So that's really good.
to the outside because it's going to be slippy. And then just try and get a good exit. Put yourself in a good position. Stay alive lap one and, and that's it. Podium's in the play, but you just head down, let it come to you. It's a long race. It's 20, 25 minutes, isn't it? So once you get yourself going, just stay with them and then see the opportunity. And anyway, where you're going to overtake them is on the exits. You know, they're going to make a mistake and you can just drive past them. So Um, so look, we were 0.028 from the first ever race win in a car. Like, had, and from my point of view, I think I couldn't have asked for much. I just said earlier, I couldn't have asked for much more. Like, you, the progression through the weekend was was mega. We had wet, dry, and in between, right? Everything thrown at you the last weekend, and I think we were close, right? But but from a coaching point of view, you did everything I asked, and, and we were close. We were so close. Two fastest laps, I'm pretty sure we had. Definitely had one. I think race two, we were yeah, fastest lap. lap yeah. So. You know, we were that close. We're going to have to wait till next year to get our first win. But yeah, I, mean, I think it, I think it's awesome. I mean, you know, from my side, it's just been. I mean, firstly, I want to say a big thank you because if it wasn't for one-to-one -one mentoring, if it wasn't for coaching, you would never progress as a driver. You just keep doing the same yeah, bad yeah. habits, and you know, you weren't even supposed to be here this weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that you were here is the reason I changed my driving from the first lap to the last lap. So, firstly, I want to say thank you. Secondly. You know, I don't really, I'm not interested in, in taking a win yeah, in yeah. that way. Mm. I think what I'm more appreciative about is the driver mm. knows that I was faster than him. Mm -hmm. And I was the faster driver on the weekend. Considering I came into this and I felt really, really unconfident. I wasn't so sure of the car, I wasn't sure about my ability. So the win was, was super close, but um, this is what racing is all about, you know. So he'll, uh, he'll have a taste of it. He was, he was literally that close to it, 0.028. So um, he's going to have to wait uh, one more round and that'll be next year, 2023. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll keep working with him over the winter, do some more coaching and hopefully next, uh, next year he can have a few more wins, not just one.